It all started in Fort Smith, Arkansas. So we were sitting together at an office table. The PDP at that time was already pretty much laid out, so we had a good idea where the, where the project is going. And then we were discussing the future of female uh, shooting in the United States. And we said, hey, why don't we build a PDP for women? And it was clear, if we do it, we want to realize a real duty pistol. When it comes to personal protection and handguns, women are a little bit different than men. Our interests really do want to bridge the gap between home defense and concealed carry. I find a lot of first-time buyers are looking for a solution that'll serve them in both instances. And as they go through trying to select that product, the fit is key. They're also looking for a caliber that's going to get them through training, yeah, concealed carry, again, home defense and competition, because women are looking for something that they can master that's going to take them across all of their interests. Some of the physical differences between men and women, particularly with handguns, is obviously hand size. But most women are told that they have itty bitty hands when they're actually falling within a normal human average. The differences are typically only about a quarter of an inch in overall hand length and finger length, width, etc. Where we see a lot of changes, however, are in the span of the palm, the swell within the palm, and how much we're able to go from a full purchase grip to reaching the trigger. So grip circumference is a really vital element in ensuring that a woman's hand can function the firearm the same way that the gentleman can function the firearm. So even though it's just a quarter of an inch, those nuances in length of the finger, the swell of the palm, how much meat we have in our hands actually to wrap around the firearm, can radically influence how a woman shoots the same gun that the man does. With Walther's history in Olympic shooting sports, we realize half of those shooters are women. And with all the adjustability in those guns, we realize that they are adjusting those guns to very different settings than the men are. And so it kind of got the wheels turning and we said, you know what, there's really not a duty rated gun ergonomically built for females. We know females have different hand shapes than men. It's not that they're smaller everywhere, they're smaller in specific areas. So we really wanted to build a duty grade pistol that was very shootable for women. And so, you know, with all the history we had on Olympics, we had a lot of data on hand size and where that's different. And we put all of that into the shape of the gun and really made a gun that was ergonomically developed for the female hand. The features of the F-Series will take it from the frame up. I love the grip texture of the PDP line, and it's one of the first things people notice, how amazing that grip feels within the hands. And for women, that's a really big feature in and of itself. If it feels uncomfortable, it's a quick no. Once you pick that PDP up in the F-Series, it's not only an intuitive grip, but a very intelligent grip. So not only did we alter the grip angle, specifically to match a woman's hand, because again, we don't have as much mass, as much meat in our hands, which means how we angle our hand to achieve that grip is going to be different than how a man's hand achieves that same grip. So by altering the angle, we have a straight grip, which allows us a higher purchase and allows us to better mitigate recoil. In addition to that, the grip circumference allows us contact with the front flat face of the trigger, which means we no longer have to shimmy or adjust our grip, giving us a less than optimal grip. So right out of the gate, we are able to achieve the same grip, deliver the same performance as our male counterparts without any compromises. The rackability was an important feature and it was quite a requirement for the overall design of the pistol. The PDP is what is considered a striker-fired pistol, but the truth is there isn't really a striker that is, that is hitting uh, the firing pin. The truth is it's a spring-loaded firing pin, basically. So for the F-Series, we really had to build a striker-fired pistol. So, so this gun really has a striker that hits the firing pin and ignites the cartridge, and that, of course, was a completely new design. And when we went this way further down the road, it was, it was clear and clearer, this needs to be a real duty pistol. 
So also from a magazine a capacity point of view, in the beginning we thought about, well, should it have 12 or 13 rounds or something like this? And then we said, no, 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 wait a minute. This needs to be a real duty pistol. So it has to have the same magazine as the PDP, compact, 15 rounds. Well, and that's, and that's what it is. So after years of substantial engineering and design and working with these wonderful people here, with these, with these ladies, uh, we are where we are right now and I, th I think we accomplished. The F-Series is not a dumbed down gun just for a woman. It was engineered with a lot of intelligence based on the PDP line, the performance duty pistol. The F-Series is a continuation of that, but tuned specifically for the unique contours of a woman's hand and to increase a woman's ability to utilize the firearm without having to make adjustments or modifications to how she interfaces with the firearm. When we came up with the F-Series design and really got the, the grip where we wanted it, we decided the overall size of the gun needed to be a little bit smaller than our current PDP. So we wanted a three and a half inch version and um, we decided that this was going to be our first new product built in the U.S. We went with a nine millimeter for the F-Series. This is a firearm, again, that should be able to span a woman's interests from plinking to home defense to concealed carry. And with 9mm being such a viable self-defense and home protection round, why wouldn't we go there? We really didn't see a need to provide a solution that was an underpowered round simply because it was for a woman. It is optics ready, and that is the trend of concealed carry, home defense, and competition nationwide. And I'm seeing a lot of women, particularly those who are wearing glasses, corrective lenses, or starting to have vision changes with age, not only for the duty performance, but also for the life of the shooter. That firearm is going to transition across all of those disciplines and as your eyes change with time. Our F-Series is available in a three and a half inch or four inch barrel version. The frame size is roughly the same on both. The grip length is the same on both. And they both use PDP compact magazines. So we want women to know that we're building a pistol that's built for them to use. We want something that the people who go out there and defend us and protect us and are on the front lines, we want what they have. We're fully capable, we're competent, we're pursuing the knowledge, the training, and the safety. And we want to make sure that we're able to do that same level of work for ourselves and on behalf of our families. So this firearm gives us an opportunity to carry something that is duty grade and on a daily basis, very comfortably. It's not too big and it's not too small. And it gives us the same capacity as the PDPs.